friends welcome back to the channel creating with Sarah so today's video I have a little bit of a haul to share with you I have a Kipling haul here so if you were interested in seeing the new planner pen cases that I have purchased from an outlet then keep on watching So hey there, welcome to the channel. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here. I love all things stationary. I'm a big planner nerd. And today I have for you some new planner pen cases that I'm really excited about. Um, so Kipling is not anything new. This is a very old style of a pen case in the planner world. I have just never purchased one and I finally have purchased one. My daughter and I were having just a fun day out. Um, I had to take um, a f some family members to the airport and I decided that we were going to stop at this outlet that had a Kipling outlet store and I found something that I loved so I just wanted to share with you in case you're interested in you know planner pen cases and you're new to planning. But let me first say, I don't know a whole lot about Kipling, so I'm not so sure like on the style of the bag and things like that. So I don't have any proper names to go off of except maybe what's on the tags. So I bought two items and I think they were a good price. Um, this smaller bag here was around $23. And then this one here, which I think everybody's familiar with, it's called the 100 pin case. This one was 32. Um, they had other ones though that were like um, 20, 23. That was actually the same design as this one, but I really like the pop of yellow and maybe it was a little bit more because it is a summer color and I'm really excited. So let me go ahead and unpackage this and we'll get into it. Okay, so I couldn't decide from the two and I think I just wanted a different type of bag while I was there. It's not, it's not anything close to us, so I was just in the area and I thought we would stop by. So it's not like something I can drive there like all the time. Um, so this was a nice sweet treat and yeah, I'm really excited about it. So what was great though was as we were shopping in the outlet, they had everything out like this. And so when I went to go check out um, to purchase, they actually brought in new ones that had all the plastic wrap and everything on it. So I thought that was really cool. So I guess whatever's in store is just like a display and then they'll get you a fresh one from the back. I really don't know how that worked. That was like my first experience. And I really liked that because I was like, I felt like I was getting a fresh planner bag or pin case. So let's talk about this one since I think this is an oldie but a goodie. I think everyone has seen this. Um, I've just never owned one and I guess I finally found one that I like. I love this pop of yellow, especially for the summer and I really wanted something to, well, I, I've always wanted to try it out so I just, want to cart all my planner tools in and this says it's butterfly sun I guess that's the name of the design this originally was $54 and I think I paid 30 um, before tax let me show you before tax because in California they have a lot of tax <laughs> um, $32 this was $32 and then the black pouch was 23 but we'll get into that one um, here in a second this is just a cute little Kimpling bag. Again, I don't know too much about this company. <laughs> I just know that it's been a while. It's been around for a while. And it has like these little um, orangutan charms on it. They're like little fuzzy charms. And this one's called Addy. And this is the um, zip around. And it has like, instead of having metal, it has like a plastic, which I think is easier and you don't have to worry about it catching or if it's too rough maybe you know I've had um, like the sto stony clover they're really expensive but sometimes the metal is so thick it to me it jams up I've just had issues with it but I don't know this seems to be a little bit friendlier and um, this is what it looks like it's just like you're I want to say generic because this has been around for a while that there's been other companies that come out I think with planner cases that replicate this design so this is pretty much what it looks like but I really just wanted to share this and uh, put you know test it out put some things in here so it does have like the pin loops here I have seen reviews about previous um, people 
on YouTube have said, you know, you don't put too many on here because how it can get a little cluttered. So you just have to space them out. And I'm not sure why it's called a hundred though, because I don't think you have enough here to put a hundred, but I guess if you put enough here, because this is pretty deep, that maybe you could put a hundred pins in here. Um, and this doesn't come unattached, so it's it's sewn in there. Because um, I think I have one from Simply Gilded that's, you know, sort of like this, but it's not as sturdy. So you can see how this is super sturdy, so it's not going to you know, fall into or it's not flexible or collapse on itself. It's very sturdy. Um, and I think that's why I wanted to try it. But the one from Simply Gilded has a little pin um, sleeve where I can take it out. So I just love this color. They had other ones. They had like a pink one. But I just really like the pop of yellow. If they had like a, like a sea blue, like this color, I probably would have picked up this color because I wanted something bright for the summer. So I got that bag and then I got this one because this is a two um, pouch pocket bag. Again, I don't I don't really know the, the name for it. And it actually has a zipper on the inside. Um, I really like their zippers. I think they're really great quality. So they're nothing you know, cheap to me. And I like that this one had a little handle on it so I could just hold it like this. And I like how this stands up on its own. And I love this material. I'm always someone who loves this. I don't even know what this material is, but it's, I just, I've always loved this. It's definitely softer than, um, you know, those bags, the kinkin bags. I don't even know if that's what you call it, but my girls used to love those like middle school age. I don't think they're in now, but you know how that bag is so stiff? These are a little bit softer and flexible, and it, I think this is material is wipeable, so if you get spillage, it just falls, like it runs off. But I liked how this one had stars, and it had that glitter effect to it. So they did have the 100 pin case in this design. I'll tell you what the design is, if it says. Um, it says stars pop of black this was actually 60 bucks and I got it for 23 so cute I love it and again it has the little um, orangutan and this is Elsie I think someone mentioned in a review that I that this is supposed to be someone that works for the company like one of their employees they name after the little charms which I think that's really cool okay so I want to test these out I probably should take my tags off now. I can't believe I've never bought one. I've always wanted to buy one. I think the first store that I've ever... I don't know if I've ever been to one in Texas, but um, I think there's one in San Diego, and that was a long time ago. That's like when we first moved here. We went to the San Diego mall. I don't remember what mall it is, but they had a Kipling store. You can get anything at a time. Let's try to um, test out some pens to put in here. So I have my little cup here of all my favorite black pens, mostly 0.7, a little bit of 0.5, and then we have a variety of sizes. And then I have my uh, Crayola Super Tips. These are the pastel sets. And then I just picked up a pack of the Erin Condren um, highlighters. So these are actually their new glitter ones. They're not really glitter. I mean, that's the disappointment of these, if you guys saw my review. They're pretty packaging, um, slight glitter hint to them, but they're not as glittery as I thought they would be. Um, but, but if you have a lot of Erin Condren pens, this would <laughs> probably dedicate it to all your Erin Condren pens. I have a lot. I mean, that's why I say that, but of course you can do mix and match. I think this would be great, even though it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. You could take it with you on trips if you're doing a lot of little small vacays or road trips. I even think to the beach, like if you live near the beach or the lake, because of this material, you know, you could shake it out, or, you know, get sand and everything. Okay, let's try to test them out. So I have these. These are similar to like if you have Stadler pens um, that have like the skinny barrel. I wonder if you could do two. 
These are pretty tight. Again, I, I watched some reviews. Yeah, these are really tight. I don't think you could do two. Um, I have... I don't use pencil a lot, but I have one <laughs> near my desk. So there's a pencil. Let's use some of these dual highlighters. So I would think I would set mine up with my essentials. So something that I don't want to put on this side that I have to dig through. So I put like my top uh, essentials here and then maybe my favorite black pens or colored pens that I'm using or something that's coordinating with my writing pens. And then in here I would put like washi, tape, like all my glue, scissors and all those essential things and maybe some stickers and stuff. But if you were just using colored, if say that you were just using these for pens, I would still put my essentials here that I wouldn't have to dig over here for. So I would put like maybe all my markers in here and my matte pencils or maybe stamp stuff. Like if you stamp, this would be a great little bag for stamps. But I kind of just wanted to play with this. Yeah, you can see like the fatter the barrel of the marker or pen, you're not going to be able to get some of them side by side. I don't know if they've upgraded their design. If you guys know, leave it in the comments down below if you know. Um, if you have Le Pens, you know how Le Pens are, I think that's how you pronounce it, L-E-P-E-N. They're like small felt tip pens like this. I bet you could get those in here, maybe in between. I don't have those. I think my daughter had a set. Those actually fit in between. So you can put like smaller. Again, this would be set up for like your top pens that you would use. Essentially like your specialty pens, I guess. That's what I like to call it. Okay. Um, this These super tips. I think they're a little bit smaller. I think this is the biggest barrel right now that I have. I just want to see what... Oh, I say that and I can't even get it in here. These are pretty tight. Okay, get that marker in there. And then this is actually a big pen. I don't know if this can get in here. This is an Erin Condren... Condren, excuse me. Like, white erase marker. These are the nice ones. I think these are the ones that they upgraded. These are really nice if you like... Uh, wet erase boards and you like to do that. This fits, in, this fits in here but it is a little bit of a struggle. Uh, let's see. Let's try a Sharpie. Yeah, they fit. They're just a little bit of a struggle. So maybe those type of markers you could put in here though. But I also want to see how this closes. So I'm going to put that in there and some washi. Okay, put a sticky, this is a um, sticky book, no, notebook, no, this is a sticky book booklet, that's from Erin Condren, I don't know if they, if they carry that one anymore, um, I have some scissors, these are also Erin Condren, you could get something like this off Amazon, or if you have a Daiso, Daiso carries these little travel scissors, and then um, a ruler, washi cutter, glue stick, tweezers, an eraser, and then the only thing I'm missing is tape, uh, adhesive tape runner. I don't have any in here in my drawers. I actually need to order some. Uh, I think we should fill this up a little bit more just to get an idea. Okay, that's the only thing I'm having trouble with is how... Okay, this has a grip on it. Maybe that's why that one wasn't going in there. Okay. 
Yeah, I would say if you have smaller barrel pens, that would probably work the best in those sleeves. I love the zipper. It looks so good. I probably have more space, but I really, really like this. They were right. These bands are super, super tight. Maybe they'll stretch out a bit once I use this more. I mean, I do have some space in here, I think, to add more things. But I love that. Okay, now we have this bag that I would probably take a set of highlighters, a set of my favorite black writing tools with different point sizes. So this is a point seven. This is a 0.5, but it's a really needle tip pen. I really like that one. Um, we would take, we'd always need a permanent pen in case you're using some glossy stickers. And I would think on this side I would put my washi cutter, glue stick, eraser, scissors, a ruler. I think the tricky part is washi. You would have to decide on washi and the size of the washi. You could stick it in the corner like that and still have stuff to put here. Oh, correction tape, tweezers, even though these aren't scissors that I always like to use when it comes to stickers, I like to use these scissors um, because they're great for nonstick surfaces. Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, nonstick. I wish these were that. I wonder if I could find some like that. But I would use those, and I like how these are small. And you probably would have space in here to put sticky notes, not necessarily a booklet. Oh, paper clips would be perfect in the zipper pocket. I actually have some. So I have this little box here with little trinkets. So I have like magnetic planner clips, I have my binder clips some kitty ones, and then, you know, just basic paper clips. And then if you have, like, the little... I think I got these off of Shein. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. My kids make fun of me all the time. But these are actually Live Love Posh. But I knew I ordered one because I ordered them for the girls' earrings to organize. I'm big on organization. Put paper clips there so you could find them in a the little zipper. I love that. I wish I could tell you what type of bag this is, but it just says Live live Light. It says Gari, G-A-R-R-I. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. If that's the type of bag. But you can see there's so much space. And I love that it just sits like that. And I can just hold it like that. And I would probably add, like, I wear glasses, so I use these nonstop. Add that, add some lip gloss, maybe a hair clip or a hair tie, cough drops, whatever. <laughs> and then add some more pins in here. Maybe add some more washi on this side or something. Because like moving the pens down, you have space to add more washi in the corners. What I want to know is if it fits Tombow markers. I forgot to test that in the other one. So I always have issues finding something for Tombow markers. They fit. My thing with Tombow markers, though, is that they fit. They're they're not, a, you know, as easy to get out. You know, because these are so long. Let's see if they fit in this side. Okay. Okay, I think this front pocket is a little shorter than this one. So I could put Tombow markers here, and then put some of my planner essentials here, and then add my black pins here. Yeah, 
Yeah, and it still feels roomy. Oh, I love that. Okay. Super happy about this purchase. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll fit in here. This looks, yeah, cool. Love that. Totally fits. No problem. All right, so that is a review on my new Kipling bags. Again, this is called the 100 case bag, and I guess this one's called, I don't know, I'm just going to you guys the tag, but maybe it's Gari? That is this bag, and I love it. Super thrilled about these bags. I'm so glad that I uh, decided to purchase these bags. I think they're going to come in handy for traveling and just to change it up, but I feel like you can fit so much in here. And again, I'm just satisfied with my purchase. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. I'd love to have you here where we talk all about planning and nerding out about planning. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.